Recently, iconic cricketer and BJP MP Kirti Azad and legendary spinner Bishan Singh Bedi wrote two separate letters to the Prime Minister of India, bringing to his attention outright loot, massive corruption scams and gross mismanagement in the affairs of the Delhi District Cricket Association, DDCA for short, all this under the patronage of Arun Jaitley while he was president DDCA. Kirti Azad, Kishan Singh Bedi and former cricket team captain Surendra Khanna have for long battled against large-scale embezzlement of funds and other corrupt practices under Mr. Jaitley's presidentship of DDCA. Since a fact-finding committee of the association as well as the Serious Frauds Investigation Office, SIFO for short, under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, have confirmed these allegations involving Mr. Jaitley, Kirti Azad and Bishan Singh Bedi have written to the Prime Minister that Mr. Jaitley's continuation as Minister of Finance and Corporate Affairs amounts to a serious conflict of interest. They have requested the Prime Minister to institute a 60-day time-bound inquiry into the charges against Mr. Jaitley and if these charges are found to be authentic, to take appropriate action against Jaitley. As of January 24, they have not received any response from the PM. After reading those letters, I talked to Vishen Singh Bedi, Surendra Khanna and Samir Bahadur Secretary, Cricket Association of Delhi, and here we present you the unedited video recording of that conversation recorded on 21st January 2015. It is the 21st of January 2015, and I'm talking to three very important persons connected with cricket. Mr. Vishen Singh Bedi, iconic figure, doesn't need any introduction. Mr. Surendra Khanna, who played for Delhi in the 1970s and for India between 1979 and 84, and Samir Bahadur. I'm the secretary of the NCT Cricket Association, which has spearheaded <coughs> the campaign for cleaning, cleaning of Delhi. Cricket. Okay. So, Paji, let me start with you. My first question to you is, both you and Kirti Azad, Member of Parliament from BJP itself, have written letters to the Prime Minister exposing the fraud, the financial scams that took place under Mr. Jaitley's presidentship in yeah. the Cricket Association. Why did you need to go to the Prime Minister? Uh, weren't there other intermediary steps? Were there not other redressal forums that you could have gone to? Why suddenly the need to go to the Prime Minister? Um, I don't think it was sudden. You know, it happened over a period of time. And I think uh, it was uh, an offshoot of Swachh Bharat and Swachh, well, Swatch DDC, why not? So, the best way to reach the Prime Minister was via this uh, route. And we'd like to think that the PMO will take notice of uh, a very, very genuine kind of a concern for cricket in general in the capital. Now, I like, I'm very emphatic on this, that if this kind of thing is happening, maladministration is happening in, in the capital. Can you imagine what's happening in Srinagar or in Hyderabad or in Goa or in Tamil Nadu? You know, there's... So it's not just connected to Swachh Bharat campaign, but the Prime Minister is also con connected or has set into motion this expectation from his slogan, Na khaunga, na khane dunga. That's right. That is it. Now, so in what you're saying is... Yeah. Here is one of your senior colleagues yeah. uh, who has been a cow and that too <laughs> well, with public funds. I know you can say that. No, but I, I'd like to make it very clear. You know, my initial meetings with uh, Arun Jaitley, I thought he was a very, you know, so, so I have kind of a person and uh, 
Well, he sounded very nice. He was a very good communicator. And uh, I think I was taken, I might have been taken for a ride on that, in that context. That uh, I didn't realize, honestly, I didn't realize that uh, the man's cricketing IQ was a big zero. So why did he become the president of the association? Well, that is again a question to be answered by the man himself, to be honest. But uh, um, isn't the I president to be elected? No. No. It's how no, how no, does no, the no, this, uh, is, this is again the malaise starts from there that DDCA is not registered under the Societies Act. It is a company, private limited company, and the election process in the company is by the proxy, proxy. So that is how he became the president. People who wanted to, you know, put him up there, they didn't, I don't think any, many of them realized that he is going to be such a dominating force eventually. And, well... So he I, came in through proxy votes? Through, oh. definitely. Through that. He never, never, ever contested any election. Could you explain for the uninformed this whole system of proxy votes? Well, it is like... Uh, there are 4,500 members in DDCA <coughs> and there are three, four gentlemen by the name of C.K. Khanna, Sneh Bansal, Sunil Dev, Chetan Chauhan and few others. <coughs> Chetan is there for nearly 13, 14 years. He's played cricket for India. Sunil Dev played one first class cricket, Ranji Trophy match. He is there for 38 years. Yeah. C.K. Khanna is there for nearly 40 years. Sneh Bansal is there for another 30, 32 years. Over a period of time, they have made members, people, members of uh, DDCA who are close to them and they get their proxies. Mm. So these three, four people have the majority proxies out of 4,500. So they needed somebody to protect them who is from the law fraternity, who is close to them mm. and who is ambitious to become the maybe BCCI president or uh, the glamour of cricket he wants to enjoy and uh, the power which it gives them to, you know, through complimentaries because don't forget that uh, you, uh, NDA was in power for five years and then it was ten years UPA rule. There was no other platform to uh, give freebies to your friends and cricket is a great thing, you know. You have the IPL, you have the World Cup, you have everything all over the world. Mm. So mm. being the president of DDCA, you are giving 20,000 passes to people, oh. your friends, free of charge. And they in turn do a lot of favors to you. But so is in that also a scam that you should be giving so many free passes, why are you not Yeah, for that uh, the members went to the court and then that number from 28,000, 25,000 freebies was uh, brought down to 10,000. High Still there. Our, yeah. one of Still 10,000 is a lot. One of our uh, colleagues... Uh, a club member, he went to the court and said, what is this happening? Mm. You know, if we sell those many tickets, that uh, revenue will come into the coffers of DDCA mm -hmm. or the BCCI. But they just keep um, giving it to their uh, friends and uh, wherever, Yankees. you know, they have work. Mm. They can oblige somebody and in return take some favors. Mm. So using this platform of DDCA to further their interest, and that is what has been going on, you know, which people don't know. They didn't realize, and he's quite an intelligent man.